It's an ongoing battle every night for millions of Americans, getting eight hours of sleep. And as a result, more and more people are turning to prescription sleeping pills. And now we're even finding out more about the toll sleep deprivation has on our brain. Joining us this morning is sleep specialist Dr. Michael Bruce with some advice on how to get more quality sleep. Dr. Bruce, thanks so much for being here today. Thanks for having me. How big exactly is a problem? Is the problem of sleep deprivation in this country? It's really to the point of being an uh, epidemic level. Um, we see it affects every walk of life, every profession, gender, even age. And what is to account for that? Are we working harder? Are we not focusing enough on the quality of our sleep? Well, what it seems to be going on is we seem to be putting more and more in our day and leaving less and less time for sleep. And it seems to be having some pretty significant effects on us. And we see that the market for prescription pills mm -hmm. is booming to help us get to sleep. But that's really not what we should be relying on. You know, every person out there should be able to fall asleep naturally. Now, granted, there are going to be certain situations where, from a medical standpoint, you may not be able to sleep. But generally speaking, most people should be able to fall asleep naturally. And we certainly know that not being able to sleep can lead to a whole host of health problems, obesity. It's been linked to diabetes. That's what correct. other problems? Well, there's been a recent study to actually show that your brain begins to shrink without proper sleep. It was a fascinating study where they were did MRIs looking at people's brain sizes who were insomniacs. And what they found was the worse the insomnia, the more that the brain actually shrank in a particular area. And that area, believe it or not, is really where we learn how about the pleasantness of stimuli. So if something we like, how much do we like it is really affected by that area. Oh, that's so depressing. So we could lose <laughs> interest in our hobbies, all of our interests, if we don't sleep enough. If we don't sleep enough, we'll be too tired to do those hobbies, yeah, number that's one. True. And we may be not interested in them, number two. Absolutely. Oh, my goodness. All right. So you've brought along some great little gadgets here, some devices to help people sleep a little bit better. Let's start out with this pillow. You developed this pillow. Correct. It's an anti snoring pillow? It is. Um, it's called the Medi Comfort Pillow. And what we did was we wanted to create something where, whereby we could open up the airway. Snoring can occur in many different places, in the nose, mouth, and airway. But one of the things we know is the more open somebody's airway is, the better off they are. So if you notice on this pillow, there's a big divot right here in the middle. Mm -hmm. That's where your head lies back and extends that open airway, allowing for a reduction in snoring. Allowing you to sleep better and your partner, I might add. Yeah, well, you know <laughs> what? The data now shows that if you sleep next to a snoring bed partner, you lose an hour of sleep. Oh, I believe it. Absolutely. All right, let's move on to this fascinating Philip. Is it a Philip, Philip Stein, Stein watch? Tell us what this watch does. This is a very interesting product. Um, the research that they did shows that if you wear the product during the day, um, and then take it off to sleep, they found that you wake up feeling more refreshed, that you sleep longer, and that you have more vivid dreams. What is it doing while you're awake? It's interesting. There are um, pieces of metal in the back of the watch that emit a natural frequency, almost the way like a tuning fork. If you mm -hmm. bang a tuning fork and you put another one next to it, then the other one will start to vibrate. The same seems, we think, holds true in this type of technology. And do you have one on? I do. And can you feel anything? As a matter of fact, I've been wearing one for several months, I've actually for a while now, and um, I definitely notice a little bit of a calmer feel to it. Mm. Um, and my sleep has actually definitely been better. Uh, they are now also working on a new product for nighttime wear um, specific for sleep as and well. And what's that metal? Do you know that emits the... It's actually all about the frequency. Oh. It can be emitted from several different types of either metal or ceramic. Okay, interesting. Fascinating. All right, so tell us a little bit about the Zio Personal Sleep Coach. It looks like a very fancy alarm clock, but there's more <laughs> to it than that, right? There's a lot more to it than that. Uh, what's very interesting about the Zio is it's the first time you've ever had the ability to wake up in the morning and know how you slept. I mean, think about it. You wake up and you're like, oh, was that a four, a nine? I don't know. But similarly, you can walk into the bathroom and stand on the scale and know exactly how much you weigh and what that is in reference to. The Zio does is you wear the headband at night and then it wirelessly transmits EEG signals to the bedside unit. At that point, we then under start to understand, are you in deep sleep, are you in REM sleep, are you in light sleep? It has a feature that will wake you up at just the right time. What um, is the best time to wake up in your sleep cycle? It's really after the last REM period when you're in the lightest stage of sleep. If you wake up out of that deep sleep, you are going to be groggy, groggy and having a hard time meeting the day. Right. That's why those alarm clocks that go off in the middle of your REM sleep are so painful. Well, I just don't like 
are alarming. Right. I mean, it's an alarm alarming. clock. It's shocking you out of sleep, whereas this is very different. A gentle way of waking up. Fantastic. Now, before we run out of time, I want to get to this fa fascinating book light. How does that help you sleep? The book light is really interesting. It's a fascinating design where it's a piece of plexiglass and the light source is along the side. So when you turn it on, it only illuminates the page. Ah, so that doesn't wake up your partner. Exactly. And it doesn't make you feel like you're looking at natural sunlight or something. You got it. Ah. So it's got just enough light to illuminate the page, but not enough to tell your brain that it's morning, which would then decrease the production of melatonin. All right, quickly. And where can we go to get these things? Just um, the pillow can be found at JCPenney, jcpenney.com okay. and Amazon. The book light is at uh, Barnes and Noble and okay. Borders. The watches, I believe, are at Neiman Marcus and Nordstrom's. And the Zio is available online at myzio.com. Fantastic. Dr. Bruce, thank you so much. And for more information on sleep deprivation, you can check out thesleepdoctor.com. And, of course, follow ABC News Now on Facebook and Twitter by searching ABC News Now.